What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. This one's going to be a little different because I'm tired of looking at my Myers mask just sitting here on one of these like toilet, not toilet paper, whoops, on one of these uh, paper towel holders. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is, is I've seen quite a few videos out there of people that display them in like boxes or like one of those Indian uh, type shelves. So I don't know what they're called, but I thought I heard someone say it's like an Indian shelf. I could be wrong. I don't care. But point being, I want to display it and make it look more better, festive, and make it pop. So I'm going to run to Michaels and buy a couple things, and we'll see what we can come up with. And you let me know if it looks good. All right, I'm back home, and I went ahead and got the basketball one looked a little too small, so I got the one that helmet fits, like a college or NFL helmet. So I picked up one of these, $70. But I had a 40% off coupon, so rock and roll to that. So I got kind of a couple ideas I'm going to be throwing in here. I have such a good amount of things where I could throw in here, but it won't make sense because it's from Halloween 1. But I'll do that idea if I can find someone to get me like a... Why did I say get me? I meant to say someone like that can make me. Because I will pay good money for it too if I can find someone that makes a good quality Halloween 1 mask. Because I've seen so many masks and it looks like crap. You gotta admit that too, we come across so many Michael Myers masks and you're just like, eh. Okay, I pretty much got everything right here laid out. I did buy a little foam head to go on the inside to hold the mask because, as you see, the paper towel holder is just a little too big for in there. So, the reason why I got these is to make it look like it's fall on the inside. I was there and I was looking for like that scalpel. They didn't have one that looked just like the Halloween 2 one. If I order it, I'll throw it on the inside because I like it because it's a really flat. But the ones they had were like for hobby reasons and didn't look like it. So I got those so that way I can tear off the petals one by one and just put it all around the mask to make it look like it's Halloween around there, like fall reasons and all that. I just thought of it. I forgot to look for one thing. But if I do find it, I'll throw it in there. Not going to tell you just yet. You'll have to wait and see if I find it. And when it was way back then before the box set Halloween 2 had a pre-order for Screen Factory and if you pre-ordered it it was like the first 500 people I think for the Halloween 2 Halloween 3 you got a poster but for Halloween 2 you got this like Memorial Hospital from uh, Haddonfield like little nurse hat so I thought that'd be pretty cool to throw up in there and I saw one guy put like an old-fashioned coke can which is a good idea but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to steal his idea or anything like that. I forget who it was, but it was a pretty cool idea. But I don't want to replicate someone else's idea. And I wanted to have my own little touches on it. And I have one more thing to throw down in here. I got like a little pumpkin that I'm going to throw up in there. But I know it don't look like the Halloween 2 pumpkin. But hey, it's the best I can find right now. And I actually had it in my restroom because it's always a Halloween themed in there all the year round. So I'm just going to take it from my restroom. I'll put it in there somewhere. So let's go ahead, let's start building it. I went ahead and deleted what I just said after that last shot because I started doing this and I didn't like the look of the Myers mask on the little mannequin head because that pale white out of nowhere, didn't like it. So I went ahead and I spray painted it black so that way it'll look a little bit more creepy so that way you just don't see a pale like foam head looking at you that way the black will blend into the you know you get the point so just gotta let this dry and then once that's dry I'll put the mask on and that way I that will give me time to do all this and I just thought of another idea I could throw up in here if there's room but we'll see sure I'll have room for the VHS this is actually one of the original covers that's not a reprint it says right here from 1987 so I would like to put it in there not sure if I'll have room we'll see but let's put the mask in and man that looks so much better rather than just those you know what I mean in like the pale whiteness of the foam mask or, I mean the foam head not the mask but go ahead and put that in there Got leaves falling all over the place. I'll fix that in a second. Other than that, so far, I think it looks pretty cool. It just pops really, really nice. 
Now, as I said, I don't think I got room for that VHS cover. Try to fix the mask first. I don't know. I think that looks pretty good. I just laid the VHS down flat right there. I think it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead, put the lid on. And that does it for this project. I think that turned out really nice. I just still wish I could have found that scalpel. That would have been really, really cool. But overall, I like it. I think the pop really does happen from those leaves. The Haddonfield Memorial Hospital little nurse hat. And of course, like the pumpkin. The VHS, I think, is a nice little ad, in my opinion. But you let me know below. Is that VHS overdoing it? Or is it a good ad? I feel, I feel it looks good. And right around the neck area, it just looked really loose in there. So what I did was I went and got my Michaels bags that I bought all this stuff from. I stuffed it inside the mask in between the little foam head and the mask so that way it just thickened it up so it looked like it's actually being worn by somebody but that's the way it looks i'll do a close-up here video I think it turned out really good I already said it before so I really like this I think it turned out great but so are you going to be doing something like this with your Halloween mask how do you display yours I would love to see it let me know in the comments below who you are and how you display your mask and maybe I can check out your video if you got it on YouTube if not you want to share it with me share it on my Facebook because I would love to see how everybody displays their mask because I would love to collect more masks but uh, it probably wouldn't tie in in this room because it's mainly nothing but movie stuff in here. Not really like Halloween mask and stuff like that, but maybe if I get the Halloween 3 mask, which I'm really hoping to get one day, but we'll see how that goes. I need to save my money for that car. But thank you for stopping by and watching me put this little box thing together. I hope you guys liked it. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll check you later.